name's Uncle Tom, the outdoorsman. And this is my 85 Volkswagen Vanagon camper. I bought for $4,000 and then proceeded to pour in another $12,000 over the years to keep it going. It's, it's great when everything works. The problem is keeping everything working. This thing is a workhorse that will transport enormous amounts of gear. Starting off, there's a rack up here that you can put stuff in and strap it down. Plus roof racks that I've put on that we've carried uh, canoes on and so forth. And uh, another rack that uh, on the roof racks that, that carry additional stuff you can put on. In addition, you've got this big area here. And I've got the truck boxes that I can pile up and tie down here. So it's a, it's a real workhorse from transporting stuff like a pickup truck. Uh, let's see. Yeah, these uh, these chairs uh, will swirl around. Uh, there's a uh, there's a table that can be set up between them. In the back, uh, there's a storage area. There's a refrigerator that runs off propane or electricity. Uh, another storage area and two pantries. A, a Closet for clothes, a two burner stove and a sink with a big uh, 13 gallon uh, holding tank for water. This seat uh, will, will pull out into a flat bed for two. The top will pop up, creating another sleeping platform for another two uh, when it's popped up. It has an uh, internal propane tank, fairly small, that will run the refrigerator. And the stove. Here we go. Cubby hole. Okay, a little space here. Look at this. See? Uh, that cubby hole. That cubby hole. Secret little spot there. A little spot you can put stuff. <laughs> Let me see this. <laughs> you didn't know that was there. At the end. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah. God, there is space uh, in there. Yeah, you can put stuff. God, there is space in there. <laughs> Man, Jesus. That's funny. Yeah, right. Gosh, that's a great place for your ditty bag. <laughs> Gosh, I never used that. There it is. There it is. Bigger <laughs> hell. God. Why not? Oh, pop this up. This is the, this is the stove. Two burner propane stove, a sink with a 13 gallon uh, holding tank for water. Yeah. We have drawers and storage area. Propane refrigerator in here. It runs off of electricity if you've got a hookup or propane uh, if you don't. And that runs off a second battery or uh, or is it off no, the main no, battery? It's, 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 no, you don't. Uh, <laughs> okay, if if the car is moving and running off the generator or alternator, it uh, powers the refrigerator, but not so well. Hmm. It doesn't work that well when the car is moving, but it uh, it gives some cooling effect. It works real well with uh, plug-in electricity if you have it, and it works fine with uh, with the propane tank. Another, another little storage area, two pantries, cloak closet, there's a light, runs off battery, a storage area, we call yeah. it our library, another storage area back there. And you find it enough room for two people? Uh, no, <laughs> uh, it's uh, it's it's like a little more than a single bed for two people. So you bump into each other's toss and turn, uh, but it's it's doable. Let's call it uh, bigger than a large double sleeping bag. Yeah. And this this is a this is a table that can be set up uh, set up right in here or right over in here. If you had or if you could make any like change to this 
the design of this thing, what would you do differently, do you think? I wouldn't change a thing the way it's engineered on the inside front from a camper standpoint, from the space that you've got here, uh, it's as it's as good as can get. Uh, for two people, it's uh, you can live extensively in here. Uh, once you learn, you know you've got to get uh, all of your gear has to be in certain places. Uh, but you learn to do this where you know where to look for something. Uh, it takes a little getting used to, but uh, it's it's very uh, very well engineered. Uh, and you could easily have a, a, a couple with a couple of kids uh, just have an extensive uh, month-long vacation in this with them, the kids sleeping up, up top and the adults down below. All right. Is there anything else you want to say? Uh, that's kind of it. A quick rundown on the Volkswagen camper van. I will say this, that uh, these are so popular that uh, nobody junks them. Uh, they keep them going. Uh, and. Uh, I have what is called an escalating asset. Each year that you keep it up, it becomes more valuable than the year before. There are not many cars in America that uh, that have that characteristic. Yeah. I have had a drag race with another person in the identical uh, van. <laughs> and who won? Uh, uh, I won easily. The uh, guy I was drag racing down the strand, illegal drag racing of course, <laughs> starting from a dead stoplight start. He is an ex San Diego police officer. Uh. <laughs> but uh, we, we cut it off at 60 miles an hour. Yeah. Uh, and I, I pulled away from him easily. <laughs> I had a better rebuild engine than he did. Yeah, that's <laughs> funny. Yeah. All right, bye guys. Yeah, so this is the bed uh, all laid out here. It's um, six six plus feet of room here to lie out. And have a nice sleep wherever we're traveling to. Yeah, it looks big. Yeah, it's the full width, so we have two mattresses, one on this side, and one on this side, and it takes up the full width of the van here. I think it's just a little bit wider than a double bed. Mm. Yeah.